Assalamualaikum Dr. Sabarina. Waalaikumsalam Mr. Aiman. Um, I have the details of your test from a few days ago. Do you want to know it? Yes, doctor. So how is it? I'm so excited to donate my blood again. Well, I'm a regular donor though. Um, that's great, Mr. Aiman. Uh, during the history taking, you said that usually you usually feel tired and have shortness of breath after the donation, right? It is because your hemoglobin le level is quite low, uh, which means that you are having an anemia. It usually happens to a thalassemia carrier, which you know, right? Yes, doctor. So does that mean that I'm not qualified to donate my blood uh, this time? Oh, don't worry. Your hemoglobin level is 13.6 and falls into a normal range, which is 13.5 to 18. So you still have a chance to donate your blood. Um, still, uh, since you are a thalassemia carrier and also a regular donor, I would suggest you to undergo aphoresis blood donation. Wow, there's another blood donation? What is that and how does it differ from the normal blood donation? Mm, okay, let me ask you. Thalassemia is a genetic disorder that affects the red blood cell development and causes the production of abnormal hemoglobin, which is important as an oxygen carrier in the blood. These are the complications that will be experienced by thalassemia patients, such as anemia, excess of iron level in the body due to frequent of blood transfusion, liver, spleen, and heart problem. However, as a thalassemia carrier, Anchi Aiman will not be having a severe comp Applications, but due to his anemic conditions, he needs to be prescribed with folic acid to help in development of red blood cell. So in this case, since Mr. Ayman is a thalassemia carrier and also he is a regular blood donor, so he can donate his blood, but it is advisable for him to go for aphoresis donation. There are two reasons why Mr. Ayman should become an aphoresis donor. First, Mr. Ayman might develop anemia prior to the whole blood donation. This is because he already has a lowered hemoglobin value. So when he donates his blood, his hemoglobin value in his blood it will become even lower. So he will become anemic later. The second reason is that the donated blood might have insufficient hemoglobin. So when the donated blood is being transfused to the recipient, the oxygen-carrying activity is not efficient for the recipient. Since aphoresis has been mentioned before, what is aphoresis actually? It is a procedure of separating the whole blood that is donated by a donor or patient into a few individual components such as plasma, red blood cells and platelets. Once component of interest is taken, the remaining blood components will be drawn back to the person. Aphoresis donation is good for Anchi Aiman as he is experiencing low of hemoglobin and red blood cell. So, during blood donation, only platelets and plasma will be taken. His red blood cell will be written back to him. Well, I see. Uh, so, now it's clearer for me. Thank you, doctor. No problem. So, if there is no other issue, shall we set our appointment? Yes, doctor. Sure.